Hey guys, this is Peter. Um, I would like to show you Open Pipeline. It's a project management script that I already talked about in the Q&A. Um, I told you how good this is and uh, how much I think it's really useful. So uh, I figured because I already talked to Vadim and I already talked to Sean, uh, there's a bunch of questions when you start using it. You know, what is it doing? What's this for? And what's this window for? So I figured I'm just going to do a little demo for you guys and um, show you around and um, maybe you want to give it uh, a try as well. Um, you can download the script from, um, from high-end 3D, um, but you can find the link at a website called kickstandlabs.com. Um, it's the guy who, who wrote it there in New York, and um, they, they give you a link and, and instructions on how to install the tool for you. But it's really easy. You basically just throw it in your, uh, in your current uh, scripts folder and, um, and you can either type rehash to reload all your script files or you can uh, restart Maya, which is basically, you know, it takes longer, but it, it, it would then source the script. And um, this is the interface. I'm going to close it in. And you just start it with, um, by typing open pipe line into the mail command line, press enter, and it opens up the interface. Um, I made myself a little uh, little icon he up here, um, but it basically does the same. It just says open pipeline, and um, when Maya knows that there's this script, it's gonna open up the interface. Um, when you open up the interface the first time, uh, probably this window is gonna pop up, this one here. Uh, it's the project manager, and it, tells you, um, or basically you can tell the tool where you're going to put your files. Um, this is all going to be empty for you when you start it. <clears throat> Excuse me. And for the demo, I'm going to do a new project. Um, just press the new button and I'm going to call it open pipe line demo. Um, then in my, um, I'm going to open up the finder here. Here in red, I already created an empty folder called Open Pipeline inside of my um, projects um, directory. It's somewhere on my hard disk. Actually, it is also connected with my Dropbox. So everything I put in there gets synchronized with my Dropbox. So I also have all the files at home, which is really cool. I'm at the office right now. Um, so let's get this out of the way. Um, I'm going to be browsing for that folder. Um, and it's inside my Dropbox, Projects, Open Pipeline Demo. And I click Choose. Then the software has the path. Um, I could also write a little description in here, it's just useful for later, maybe. It, 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 it gets displayed in the interface as well. Um, okay, it's. Uh, demo project for a Amers. Okay, then um, project status, it tells you whether or not the project gets displayed in the main interface. Um, we want to keep it active. Then it's, you know, some stuff that's pretty self-explanatory, uh, creation date deadline. Uh, you can write that in and um, basically everything that's already written in here like master file workshop file i would pretty much leave it as it is um, you can choose whether you're going to be using my uh, the ascii format or the binary format um, i use the binary one because it loads way faster um, i know that there's reasons not to use it but since i'm keeping all my maya versions that i work with at the same level um, I usually don't run into the problems of, you know, backward compatibility and stuff like that. So uh, I keep it basically everything like it is and I click accept. It creates a bunch of folders and if you have a look into the finder again, these are the new folders that got created by, um, by Open Pipeline. 
Okay, then um, this is my list. As you can see, I'm just going to talk about the project manager a little more. Um, there's one project called the handbag. That's my um, my final um, my final short for animation mentor. Um, here's a bunch of stuff. You know the location where the folders are, uh, a little description. You know that's what I use. I, I type that in. You know animation mentor short. Blah 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 blah. It's all pretty self-explanatory. And um, I'm just gonna go and say um, close. And now. When I go to the main user interface um, and the project name, there's a new project called Open Pipeline Demo, and I'm going to switch to that. And what we see now is the default uh, layout of, of the tool. Um, you can customize, you know, these things. Um, like I love doing that, so I I made one for Animation Mentor, so I can visually see. Okay, I'm in a different project. Uh, the handbag, that's my short. Um, then I did uh, an animation uh, workshop with Keith Sinte in Hamburg uh, earlier this year. And uh, this is the one um, we will be working in right now. Okay, um, the main user interface, it's, it's divided in three parts. It's, um, it's the first tab, it's called currently open. It's kind of like the status of what is, what is actually loaded right now. Um, since this is a new project, nothing is loaded, obviously. Then we have the second tab, um, the asset browser. Um, right now everything's empty, but I'm going to show you in a second what, uh, what's going to go in there and why. And then the third tab is the shop browser, which kind of has the same structure as the asset browser, but it's about um, your sequences, your shots, and sometimes you know the components. It's basically sub shots or pieces that that are used in the shot. Um, okay, let's get going. When you start out empty, you would um, you could do, do two things. You could either just go in there and create everything that you're gonna need by hand right now um, or there's an add-on if you click on in this little menu up here it says create default items it's it's just for learning the tool it's nothing that you really would use later on because it, it creates a bunch of stuff that you don't really need uh, so in the end you would probably end up deleting it anyways but it would actually create some basic structure for your project Okay, um, but we're going to do it by hand because it's more fun, and it's um, it it's it, it it explains itself better if I if I uh, do it right now like it is here. Okay, um, the asset types. Um, basically, this is the categories of assets. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't have any technical um, um, meaning to it. It's just it's it just organizes your files in a very very meaningful and readable way so what we're going to do for animation mentor usually what we have is the characters the rigs you could call it either way i call it characters and i hit create and then we have uh, props and i'm going to call it props and then we have sets but this could also go into props it depends what you like to do to call it doesn't really matter. This is how I do it. Uh, so there's the sets. And back to my files. If you see, if you have a look here, there's a folder called uh, lib. It's called, uh, it's short for library. And this is where Open Pipeline puts in all, all the folders. This is like the, the first level of structure that gets put into the tool. Right now, everything's empty and uh, move this out of the way again and then i'm gonna create i gotta highlight it i, I want to do a new um let's do props i'm going to show that to you with props and then we're going to import the character later on 